So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this chicken parmesan loaded fries. It's very much so given big back, but that's okay. If it's not for you, move on to the next recipe. So I'm using the store brand french fries or fries, and I'm gonna pop them into the oven following the directions, of course. And yes, you can use whatever fries you prefer, but those are the ones that I had. These are the rest of the ingredients you'll need. Of course, some marinara, some seasoning, some cheese. The chicken was, you could buy the chicken. You don't have to cook it, but I did because I used it for another recipe. And it was just, uh, I had some huge chicken breasts and all I did was season them up really, really well. And, you know, let it chill in the refrigerator and then I cubed it up and that's what that is. But you don't have to make it. You can just go ahead and buy it from the store and chop it up. And now for this wuss, you want to add some butter in your skillet as you know because you really want to grease your pan so that this comes out nicely and easily. So you want to then add your marinara. I'm going to use a seasoning of choice, but you can use whatever spices you prefer. But of course, I'm going to use some, you know, red pepper flakes. You can't have pizza or, you know, chicken parm without red pepper flakes, child. Um, you know what's crazy? I don't even have a chicken parmesan like the original on this channel at all i need to get on that <laughs> because i have a, a you know a secret recipe that i've been using with clients and i need to put on here so you know we're gonna get into that another week okay so you, know, you want to mix this up like i'm doing here by the way this is just so quick and easy it's just my little take you know i call it chicken parmesan obviously it's not the original but you know it has the same feel to it you know if y'all got a better name for me to call these fries then comment below and tell me what I should call them instead, okay? So on top of this was, you wanna add the cheese. Once you add the cheese, do not mix, okay? Do not mix, you just put the cheese all over top, just like I'm doing right here. And then you're going to add your chicken all over top of that as well. No more mixing, the mixing is over. If you need to add seasoning or anything, you need to add it to this was. Or I guess you could also add it on top if you don't mind, but you know, I prefer if y'all add it to the sauce. So once you add the chicken on top, look how perfectly cooked my chicken breasts are. I also have a recipe for that too that I made, I don't know, a few months ago or something. I'll link it below if you're a little scary about making chicken breasts, how to get it nice and moist and perfect. So while the cheese is melting, you want to add your fries to your plate. This is why you do the, you do the fries first, okay? So that everything could come together at the same time. You don't have your fries just sitting there for a long time while you're just now starting your sauce. So then you want to put your sauce all over top, y'all. Look at this cheesy tomato chicken goodness. Like, I cannot. Um, it just looks so, so good. And uh, Next time, I'm going to pour it over a hoagie roll or something, honey, because it was just so delicious. But, yeah, look how cheesy it looks. Look at this. Look, look. And it was easy. It's fast. Okay. It's cheap to make. And it goes a long way as well, especially the sauce part of it. Y'all know, child, them bag fries, honey, they done put a couple of them in the bottom and then it be gone. But <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for your support. If you made this recipe, tag me and let me know what you think. I'll definitely be back with more recipes this week. And I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.